The goal of the Water Science Project is to engage students in hands-on learning through science, technology, and engineering so they may learn about their local water and their local watersheds. We want students to recognize that they can interact with water and their local watershed and make real-world changes. The first thing that I really liked was the testing, again, getting outside, going in the field, running the experiments, uh, working in groups. They were actually able to like dive in and collect the water, bring it back to their teams, do the different testings, checking the phosphates, the nitrates, pH balance. By connecting the water tests and experiments that the students do to real life problems like drainage, water quality, water scarcity, and flooding, students begin to understand the challenges of being an urban planner or a water treatment plant scientist or a water quality scientist. I really enjoyed that the students felt as if they were real scientists. A lot of them went home and, and told their parents about the activities that they did. I think it inspired some students to want to learn and go further with their knowledge about the watershed and the water in their local area. When we got to the river, it was 10 degrees Celsius. The pH level of our river was four when it was supposed to be seven. After the students have collected water quality data, they are able to enter that data into the iSense data collection system. We're hoping that with the capstone activity, classrooms across the country in the different states that are using water science will be able to communicate with each other, share their data, see what their different water sources look like, and really understand that not everyone has the same experience with their local watershed. One of the big parts of our curriculum is the design process and engineering. The kids really enjoy this challenge of building a water filtration system and seeing the results. One of the critical pieces is that they do get exposure to all of the careers. We've created a series of videos about water scientists that can show students how these scientists and engineers became interested in water-related careers. Uh, my name is Melinda Daniels and I'm an associate research scientist at the Stroud Water Research Center. I collect data on the non-living parts of streams and rivers and the best part of my job is constantly learning. We are trying to relate to them that science, engineering, and technology do influence the natural world. And we want them to know that qualities of the natural world can be analyzed and plotted and viewed as data. And that sense of discovery is probably the most important thing. That's when you get the aha moment with the kids. 